play in the week? Well, I'll have to give it to number one here, Kyle. Our number one piece of news, the New York Stock Exchange, which, of course, the first stock exchange in history. They are a leader in, of course, the capital market space. And now they've hinted that they might be getting into the metaverse. Specifically, as we mentioned, they have updated their trademark filing, which means that they are intending to protect new lines of services that they're going to get into uh, potentially. In this case, noting a couple of different uh, specific uh, things, specific cryptocurrency trading services, virtual currency, online marketplaces, non-fungible tokens. You know, these are all, of course, the jargon that we know and deal with every day in the crypto world. And they're saying we're going to go after all of it potentially. That could be a big deal, Kyle, because they, of course, are the institutional gateway for Wall Street. So if they now endorse non-fungible token technology or endorse cryptocurrency trading services through their exchange, now that's the biggest game changer, I think, to happen to crypto out of anything that we've seen to date. Uh, and so for that reason, of course, just this little hint, I have to give Company of the Week to the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, we're really starting to see this consolidation between the crypto and blockchain space and the traditional markets, right? With Gensler coming out and saying that these things are securities. Now you've got the other side, the securities exchanges that are offering NFT products and crypto services. You start to see this, this, this mending beginning to happen. And we're right here on the forefront here at the Scary Token Show. I think that's a sure great are. pick. Well, Kyle, I'm curious. Who's yours? 